Warning! The following video contains cold hard truths that are known to cause extreme butthurt in guitar players. If you happen to experience this emotion as a result of the following video, it's okay. We forgive you. 70s Gibsons and Fenders are pieces of shit. You only like 70s Gibsons and Fenders because you can't afford any of the good stuff from the 50s and 60s. All fuzz pedals suck. Your Epiphone Carina Flying V is really just a Carina laminate over the top of a mahogany body. Look real closely. See the seam? Your Line 6 product is going to become obsolete and practically worthless one day. Even your made in USA Gibson is built from parts made in China. There's a reason why you have decades of experience and have toured the world and have played in front of sold out crowds of all different kinds at all different kinds of venues and yet still nobody knows who you are. Funny how you claim to have all this knowledge based on experience, yet not one person out there is able to produce so much as a photograph of you on stage. Anywhere. You know, there really isn't that much difference between your $500 vintage TS-808 overdrive and the $30 Joyo version that's mass produced in China. When your band is on stage, your band's lead singer is your audience's focal point. Not you. Buying a guitar neck and bolting it onto a guitar body that you bought off eBay for 100 bucks, and then dropping in your favorite set of pickups is not building your own guitar. God, an orangutan can do that. Even after you tagged him or her in that ridiculous Facebook post last week, your favorite guitar player still doesn't know who you are. Or, well, <laughs> at least not the way that you might want him to. <laughs> Playing with more gain doesn't mean you're more metal. Pre-Gibson doesn't mean that your Mesa Boogie amp is suddenly worth more. They're still built in the same factory by the same people. Changing out all the hardware and electronics on your guitar isn't upgrading it. Devaluing would be a better description. Guitar players are the biggest bunch of whiny little girls on this planet. Maybe you shouldn't worry so much about your $10,000 guitar rig and worry more about your band's shitty $400 PA system that barely works. And after all, that is the source of sound from which your audience hears you. you know. If you genuinely think an Epiphone is as nice as a Gibson, you've never played anything nicer than a studio.